welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as rice leaf disease prediction using machine learning which is an ieee 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project so in this project the authors are going to predict the disease in the rice leaf so already in our channel and in our project list you can see this kind of project rice leaf disease prediction but we have done it using a different algorithm that we have used in that project inception v3 another one was on efficient net but in this project we are going to use mobile net v2 architecture so now in the base paper the authors have mentioned that this rice leaf disease is one of the major problem for the farmers because it mostly reduces the yield of the agriculture so in recent days the machine learning is giving a greater solution for this kind of agriculture related problems and where the authors have applied this rice leaf disease prediction using machine learning and they have used quadratic SVM classifier but we are not going to use the same model we are going to use the mobile net v2 architecture as our proposed algorithm and model and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 98.34 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 95.21 percentage and uh, other difference from the existing and the proposed one is the data set part where in the data set you can see a new feature called sheet blight so here the classification is on rice blast and brown spot bacterial leaf blight and sheet blight but uh, the classification of the other existing two was a different one and here you can see the methodology with the image data set and pre-processing feature extraction process feature selection classification and the classes and now let me show you the data set part so in the model you can see the data set folder where you can see the train and validation the train part you can see the bacterial leaf blight so these are the data set image for the bacterial leaf blight that we are going to train up the system and next one is brown spot and these are the data set image for the brown spot and next comes the rice leaf blast and next comes the sheep blight so this is all the data set image that we are going to train up the system and now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements folder with the exact python version and the libraries installed on it so first copy the source code location go to your command prompt and now go to the source code location and type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes and now you can see this URL just copy this URL now go to any of your browser I'm going to Google Chrome for this project so just enter the URL and now you can see the home screen welcome to the project with the project title rice leaf disease prediction using machine learning and just click this login menu and it will be navigated to the login page where you can see the login page with the username and password and just enter the default username and password as admin and admin because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the details of the username and password as admin and admin and click login button 
and once the login is successful you can see the login success message and click ok and now it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to upload the image test image and you can find the prediction result for the rice leaf disease so just select this choose file now go to the project source code location where you can find the upload folder where you can find the four classifications and first let me go to the bacterial leaf blight and select any of the image and then click submit and now you can see the image that we have uploaded and also the predicted result the predicted result is bacterial leaf blight and now let me again click this preview menu to give the other test image so let me select the choose file and this time let me go to the browns part and let me select an image and then click submit and now you can see the image that we have selected and also the printed result is browns part and let me go to the preview menu again and select an image from the test case and this time let me go for the blast part leaf blast part and then click submit and here you can see the image that we have selected and also the predicted result is rise leaf blast and let me go to the preview part again and now let me choose a file from the test case with the image and also click the submit button and now you can see the image that we have uploaded and also the predicted result is seed blight so in this way you can check with the other cases also for a scenario i have shown you with the four classes and finally let me show you uh, apart from the data set that we have trained up also randomly let me select an image from the data set part so let me select an image from a data set that we have trained up with and let me click submit and now you can see the predicted result is brown spot so you can also check with the data set that you are trained up with and the test case also so from that you can see the predicted result of it so let me move to the next part of the performance analysis so in the performance analysis part you can see the performance analysis parameter of accuracy precision recall and f measure values accuracy value precision value recall value and f measure for this rice leaf disease prediction and also confusion matrix with the four classification of the true label and the predicted label for the bacterial leaf blight brown spot rice leaf blast and sheep blight part and final comes the chart part as i intimated this project does not contain any database so this chart is a static chart and this is not a dynamic chart this chart has been predicted from the model that we have trained up with so this is a model loss graph so with the loss and epochs that you have trained up with and also the model accuracy chart with the accuracy and the epochs that we have trained up with and now let me log out and this is all about the project rise leaf disease prediction using machine learning and thank you all for watching